plate. You know, you wouldn't mind this job so much to me if you had a plate in your head like me. Look what I can do with a refrigerator magnet. Oh, Patty, when I was 12, I won a junior Emmy, and now I'm sucking butt for pocket change. I was Corky on here. Here comes Corky. Look to me, you're on TV. Starring the lovable, unpredictable to me, Tyler. That's my old show. It's finally in reruns. And Abner March as Captain Billy. That means royalty checks. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> Welcome to Inside Insane Hollywood. Oh, God, another expose. Tonight, a chilling look at perhaps Hollywood's most notorious child star, Tammy Tyler. It's to me. Only 12 years old, Tammy went from America's sweetheart to America's most wanted. Eyewitnesses say it all began with an innocent remark from her co-star, the beloved Captain Billy. To me? You seemed a little scatterbrained. Are you feeling OK, pumpkin? Suddenly, a snack break turns to heartbreak as the tiny terror snuffs the very life from her co-star. Just turn it off. That's not how it happened. The crew hated me. They gave me a cupcake laced with PCP. I didn't know what I was doing. You went on a killing spree. It wasn't a spree. Three is a spree. One is an accident. Oh, Patty, I got nothing. You got a boyfriend. Blunt, a big, sexy ex-con with no money and no future. Patty, the world has not seen the last of Timmy Tyler. I'm going to be back on top. I just need someone to support me while I'm doing it. Yeah. I swear to God, I'm going to marry the next man with money who walks in that door. Bill, after Bill, after Bill. Ray, <laughs> look at my chocolate sculpture. What's it gonna be? It's finished. It's a little chocolate baby for a new mommy gift basket. We got an order? No, I'm just gonna display it in the window. Tina, it'll melt in the window. Oh, well then we'll just have to buy a refrigerated display case. We are baroque. Patina, we are in terrible financial trouble. Rafe, I am not going to listen to this negativity, OK? <laughs> we want Jesus to play a big part in our wedding video. So make sure the giant crucifix is positioned between us when we're exchanging our vows. No problem. Jesus will be your co-star. Sergey, I just read the script for Tits Tannic. Um, quick question. Since it's set in Victoria times, should I take out my nipple rings? Oh, sweet Jesus. This is Satan's toy shop. Hey, didn't I work with you on as gooey as it gets? Hedda, how many times do I have to tell you the porno movies that we make in the back room, they're secret? Problem, Sergey. That was Cameron on the phone. He just quit. No, he's supposed to direct Tits Danny. You know that Taco Gal commercial he just shot? Yes. Well, sales have tripled, and the agency's given him a contract. This is tragedy. Oh, oh. <laughs> failed school graduate. Yeah, well. Uh, oh. Sorry, you don't have any dishwashing experience. Besides, we're looking for a blonde with big boobs. <laughs> what, Fanny, there it is. That commercial I was telling you about. Push your face in a taco gal. Mm. Now we're talking tacos. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mmm, mm, muy delicioso. It's so well directed. She makes my mouth water. Oh, oh, oh. Available for a limited time, only 99 cents. Damn that taco gal. Look, I don't believe this. I'm a film director. You know what you think? I can wash a walk. You say you direct movies? Yeah. Welcome to my world, honey pie. This is all yours now. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. 
Yesterday, I was a lonely dry cleaner. But today, I am the happiest man alive, married to my little TV star sex machine. <laughs> oh, I love you too, sweetheart. I can hardly believe I'm Mrs. Harvey. Crud up. Really? Rhymes with shut up. <laughs> well, I just love it. <laughs> uh, you know, the store doesn't open for another five minutes. You want to go behind the cleaning beds? Oh, uh, let's go do it in your Beverly Hills store. Uh, what do you mean? You know the Starbright cleaners on Rodeo Drive? Oh, well, honey pie, we can't do it there. Why not? <laughs> You're the boss. You own the chain. <laughs> I wish. What do you mean, you wish? You told me you owned the Starbright cleaners. Oh, no, no, no. I said I owned a Starbright cleaner. <laughs> not all of them. Well, heck, if I did... Well, well, I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> you mean you're not? You only own this? Oh, what you see is what you get. <laughs> you want to go behind the vats? <laughs> ah, shoot a customer. Oh. Oh. oh, you want it bad, don't you, baby? You're a bad girl. You're a bad girl. You know what? How about I put up the close sign at once, okay? Okay? <laughs> Funky Fox. <gasps> oh, Blunt, I need to see you right now. Oh, I knew you'd come crawling back to me, baby, but I didn't think it'd be on your wedding day. <laughs> Are you still wearing the dress? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'll see you soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Blunt, yes. <gasps> You make me crazy when you do that. You know you do. Mmm, oh, yes. baby. Oh. Mm. oh, Blunt, I miss you so much. Blunt. <laughs> do you want me to direct a porno? Who said porno? They're all nude, and all they do is have sex. OK, you don't like that one. I got 20 more. Here, you pick one. Star whores, inspect her gadget, suddenly Susan goes anal. Okay, you know what? These are all porno, okay, Mr. Solikov? And then look, I, I've spent years studying my craft, and I'm gonna be a serious film director like Scorsese, so this, this kind of stuff is out of the questions. I pay 2,000, cash. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Give it to me, married lady. Oh, oh my married lady, oh yes. Oh, oh. hey, Chi-Chi, Chi-Chi, Chi-Chi. Blunt, if she doesn't stop, I'm gonna put her in the refrigerator. Oh, she's just jealous. Come here. Come here, Chichi. Come to Daddy. Come here. Who has all the shots, huh? Who has all the shots? Huh? Blunt, what am I gonna do? I married a fat guy with no money and a constant Woody. I only did it because I thought he was rich. I'm getting a divorce. Well, 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 let's not rush into anything. Huh? What if you were to take out a big fat insurance policy on this guy, and then something would have happened to him, huh? Like what? <laughs> An accident. That could take years. I mean, he's such a careful driver, and he always wears his seatbelt. <laughs> I'm talking about doing him. You want to have sex with him? No. Getting rid of him. Permanently. <laughs> Murder? So how would that work exactly? Well, you would get the insurance, and then I would hide in the store, and then surprise him when he opens up, huh? Just another good robbery gone bad. Oh, blunt. I mean, I, I don't know if I could kill someone. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be like it's the first time. Remember Captain Billy? <laughs> Shut up! I told you that was an accident! Yeah, right, whatever. Are you serious? Would you really risk everything for me? Oh, yeah, sure, baby. <laughs> and half the money. Oh, Blunt, I know it's wrong, but suddenly I'm just so turned on. <gasps> Kiss me. Kiss me now. <sighs> Blunt, yes. 
Oh, yes, Blunt. Oh, Blunt, you're just sex on a stick. Yes, yes. Oh, Blunt, you know what I like, don't you, baby? Yes. Hey, Barry. Yo, dude. Yo, man, this is so great. Out of film school two months and we're making a movie. Yeah. When do we start? Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm having second thoughts. Why? Look, you are a great cameraman, okay? And we are gonna make some amazing films. But I, I think I'm, I'm just gonna pass on this one. What? No, no, what's the problem? It's a skin flick. A porno? Yeah. Yes, yes! Yes, yes! Thank you, God. Oh, yes! I love porno. I'm practically addicted to it. Ever since I was a little guy. I know all the angles, all the shots. Yo, we gotta do this. Don't you just think it's sleazy and wrong? No. Look what it did for Steven Spielberg. Oh, get out. Oh, he did this amazing donkey movie, right? His signature is on every shot. Big push on the donkey dong, and the music swells. Hello, color purple, Whoopi Goldberg, donkey dong. Really? Oh, I got it all on the tape, man. Come, you gotta check it out. We gotta study this stuff. I got Meryl Streep's early porn. I got Callista Flockhart's early porn. Roma Downey. Have you been touched by an angel? Oh, a girl has been touched by way more than an angel. <laughs> Roma, get Downey. You know what I'm saying? They change their names and everything, but I'm not fooled. So, you got married this morning. Congratulations. Thank you. It was just like they say. The moment our eyes met, we knew it was the real thing. And now you want to insure Mr. Crudup for a million dollars? Who? Your husband. His name is Crudup, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's just the way you said it kind of threw me. It's Crudup. It goes up at the end. Mm -hmm. Well, Mrs. Crudup, I need some information. What's his social security number? How should I know? I just met him. I have to have that. Can you use the phone? No! Uh, I don't want to upset my husband, who I love deeply, for no reason. I mean... Are you all right? You seem awfully nervous. <laughs> well, yes, I'm nervous. I mean, I'm a newlywed, you know, with a new name. And I have to get my driver's license changed. And I need a new library card immediately. Plus, everything's got to be re-monogrammed. I mean, my God, it's just, it's endless. Is your husband aware that you're taking a policy out on his life? What's that supposed to mean? Of course he knows. You think I'm just sneaking around and showing him behind his back? I mean, why would I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Are you accusing me of plotting to kill my husband? No. How dare you? You just ruined the happiest day of my life. You are a sick, sick man. You're the one who's probably plotting to kill someone. Well, say cheese, because I'm taking a mental picture. And when the police come to my door looking for a killer, I'm going to remember you, mister. Hey, can I get another one? Sure. Alcohol is really good for when you're depressed, and you look super sad. What's wrong? Just business troubles. Mm. You know who I feel sorry for? Those idiots that own the good thing store. Talk about a lot of junk nobody wants. Hey, we've got a pool going on how many days it'll last. You want in? Oh, my God, look at the size of that thingy. Excuse me. Oh, what a beauty! <laughs> look, I got a business preposition for you, eh? How about you come back tonight, huh? I have a nice, beautiful lady for you, huh? You take your clothes off, huh? You get friendly, we make a little movie. Are you crazy? No, 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 listen, eh? Mr. Big Things. <laughs> Everybody knows in the mall that you are, you know, your business is not exactly booming, eh? I'm sure that you could use some money. It is out of the question. I would never, ever do anything that... That pays $3,000? Cash? 
Could I wear a wig and a mustache? But no pants. Harv! Harv! How do you turn this thing off? Now, I'm gonna go freshen up honey pie. And then it is time for the choo-choo to make its first trip into the love tunnel. Oh. Woo, woo! Oh, oh yeah. Woo. Hello? Patty, is Blunt there? What? I can't hear you over the blender. I need to talk to Blunt. Blunt, it's to me. Uh, take a message and beat my own record here. He said take a message, so you'll just have to tell me. Tell him I'm calling off the plan. She's calling about the plan. I didn't get the insurance. He can't go through with it. She got the insurance. You can go through with it. Good. Here I come, honey pie. Chicka, 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 chicka. Darn. Come on, let's make a movie! Um, Hedda, uh, you want to go ahead and take your place? And, and a action? Oh, help. The ship is sinking. You can get in my lifeboat, but nobody rides for free. Oh, well, if I must. Such porn. <laughs> Cut. What? What what's up what's the matter? It's his breath. It's garlicky. Oh. <laughs> Sergey, that's it. I can't work with this moron. Okay. Woody, what if, what if you're knocked off the boat by an iceberg, okay? And then Rafe, you just, you just step in and take his place. Ooh, I love it. And it really works for my character's arc. See now, the star is happy. We make movie. Uh, and uh, action. <sighs> Ooh, <yeah. laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Whoa. Oh! Oh! Nice iceberg! Damn it! Hand. Oh! Oh no! I'm so hot and horny. Now what am I going to do? Captain Stooping, please! I need your pink torpedo right now. But madam, we're going down. Going down? Yum. Oof. I'm... I'm king of the world! Look, Chi-Chi. It's like a clothing museum. <laughs> wow. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Look at this baby. Daddy is a rock star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, hello, this is Detective Singer. There's been an accident. We need you down at Starbike Cleaners to see if you can identify a body. Oh, my God! Harv? Harv? Let me through with it. Harv's dead. Oh! oh I'm yeah. king of the world! Uh. <laughs> this is masterpiece. You are genius. Ah! Oh. We start next film right away. You're going to love it. It's called Snatch Adams. Oh, the doctor is so in. <laughs> Dude, this rocks. We are in show booty business. <laughs> What's up? <laughs>
Mrs. Crudup, when you're done, we need you inside. I, I was just, you know, this is just so difficult for me. Mrs. Crudup, do you recognize this man? <gasps> I've never seen him before in my life. Well, nothing seems to be missing. Harvey, you're alive! You're alive! Well, of course I am, honey buns. Oh, oh, what a day. Oh, a break in, a dead guy. We ain't even open yet. <laughs> that dog sure acts like it knows you. Well, it doesn't. That dog is lying. Well, there's no sign of forced entry. How the hell did he get in? Hello. Looks like he let himself in. Say, baby doll, ain't those your keys? Are they, Mrs. Crudup? On the next strip mall. Get ready for Harv's all-you-can-eat sex buffet. <laughs> Reporting for another day of active booty duty at Fort Porn. If her eyes were sandpaper, I'd be smooth all over. You skunk-ass bitch! I'm not wearing any underpants. Is that okay? Oh, God, that's okay. <laughs>